Hello, I'm Haley. I'm here today to talk to you about RC Car Springs. Super exciting. In my last video, I did an unboxing and a first run of the Basher Saber Shoot, the Hobby King Truggy. And after running it for a week, I noticed that obviously the springs were really, really soft. I was bottoming out pretty frequently. Got a lot of scratches on the bottom of my car. Uh, no big deal, it's part of the game, but also wanting to compensate with stiffer springs. If you look online, you can search all of the different spring rates. Um, they usually come in different colors from pretty soft up to really, really stiff. And I was looking for the stiffest you could find because the truggy that I'm running is, is pretty heavy. I needed to first figure out what was my base spring rate. And a spring rating is typically measured in pounds per inch, or it can also be in newton meter. Um, there's also, you want to check out the length, uh, the number of coils, and the diameter are also measurements you want to be aware of. Um, in the Hobby King Bash or Sabretooth, the 1.8 scale Truggy, you do have big bore shocks, and so you want to make sure that your shocks are going to fit that. A super high-tech way to figure out the spring rate is to grab your kitchen scale, if you have one, and uh, an inch ruler. Uh, and then line it up. So you're going to want to compress it one inch and see the pound rating that it gives you. It can be quite dangerous too if springs go flying. So it's reading about 3.40. Definitely wanted something that was maybe double that. What I ended up going with was the 70 millimeter, about six pounds per inch in the front. Still had to screw these down so I'd, uh, to make sure that it was going to sit level when it's on the ground. And then I went with the 84 millimeter um, about six pounds per inch in the rear. Uh, you know, they also have the 95s, so I might in the future put the 95s in the rear and the 84s in the front, um, and you wouldn't have to screw these down quite as far. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the, the springs, and I think that they are gonna serve me well. Thanks for tuning in. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I have been out of um, practice in the RC world for about 14 years, so just getting back into it and sharing what I've learned about the Basher Sabertooth um, springs, waterproofing, um, some of the upgrades, and um, thanks for tuning in, and see you soon.